no greater thing in life than the love that we could bring out to HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Why? We're learning the Pilewetz. He's saying that what? When you love Hashem, everything else follows. You know, I'll give you an example. I don't know if you remember, but you remember when you were engaged? No, do you remember you were engaged? Remember you were engaged? So what would the person do? He was so in love with his, with his future wife that he was blinded by the love. Yanni, uh, 3 o'clock in the morning... Uh, Oh, I'm not feeling so good. I think I need a Slurpee from 7-Eleven. Okay, I got it, I got it. Three o'clock, you see the guy gets in his car, puts his radio, goes to 7-Eleven. How about outside? Yeah, oh, like Romeo and Juliet. Oh. She can, what happened? What All of a sudden, now after they get back, I'll tell you the difference. The difference is when a person is so madly in love, so therefore he goes, he, he goes cuckoo, he goes crazy. And everything else follows from that. You, you, you buy your things, you buy your gifts. How many times a person, before they got married, how many gifts did the, did the, guy, did the guy buy his uh, wife? Right? When you were engaged to your wife, how many times did you give her a gift? I remember me, personally, personally, I would give every Friday Shabbat, I would give her flowers. Every Shabbat. Now, okay, once a month is that. <laughs> what? Flowers, do you? Give, 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 that. Okay, that's besides the gifts. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's besides the gift. So what'd you get your wife when you were engaged? Tell me every week. <laughs> but, but what's the point we're trying to say? When a person's automatically in love with something, when a person's in love with something, somebody like a kadosh when you're in love with him, so everything happens. Like let's say for a person, I give an example. A person loves doing chesed. A person gets crazy involved. Oh, I want to do this. I want to do that. I, I know a friend of mine. He's crazy to do chesed all the time. He's looking to see who he can help. Sees a new guy in the show. Oh, what do you need? You need anything? I'll help you out. This, this, this. Jan with the chesed. Why? Because he loves it so much. A person, let's say, is so in love with Torah. So what happens? He goes over and beyond. Look at Chomadiyah Yosef. When he was alive, he was so in love with the Torah. They say a story that he was so in love. He One time he was up to, to, on a ladder. He was trying to, he was learning. Yani. He pulled out the thing to learn Torah. And he was on the ladder... He was on the ladder, learning, 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 learning. He forgot that he was on the ladder, and he fell, he fell and he broke his arm. <laughs> he didn't know. Why? Because he was so in love with the Torah. When a person is so in love with Hashem, he gets so infatuated, everything, because everything becomes that he cannot wait. I cannot wait to go to shul tomorrow morning. I, I feel so bad. We just finished praying Shaharit. Ay, I wish we didn't finish praying. I love you, Hashem, so much. I wish I could talk to you more and more and more. Oh, why do we finish so fast? I wish we prayed longer so I could be with you, Hashem. You understand? Amen? Like that. Oh, you know, I remember there was a guy. He was telling me, Rabbi, we finished Shadid. I can't wait to pray Minha. I'll finish Minha. I can't wait to pray Abit. And you have the other guys. Oh, man, we have to pray Minha. Ay. Can we do Koram? Can we do quick? <laughs> what? You're not talking to Hashem over here? You're talking to Borei Olam. Where's the love of Hashem? You have the love of Hashem. I want to hear every word. I want to answer Baruch Hashem. I want to answer Amen. This is what he's telling you because everything else comes from the love when a person loves Hashem. What's a greater love? Loving Hashem out of fear or loving Hashem out of, out of love? Out of love. He's right over here. He's quoting. One of the mitzvot is to love God. This mitzvah is what's tadirit. What's tadirit mean? It comes tadirit. What does that mean, Abra? That's what I asked. What's tadirit? Tell me what's tadirit. What? Frequently. Exactly. It has a constant basis. Every single second, there's a mitzvah to love Hashem. Every second. Meaning to say, let's say you leave the Beit Midrash now. You're walking. If you think, Hashem, I love you, mitzvah every second. You're going to work. Hashem, I love you. Hashem, I love you. In the mood, Hashem, I love you. Ah, you get a mitzvah every second. If you think in your mind and you say, Hashem, I love you, every second you think in your mind, I love you, Hashem, mitzvah, 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 mitzvah. 24-7. You understand? It's the easiest mitzvah. Just remembering. He says, you don't have to say it. 
Of course, it's better to say it. But just remembering Hashem, Hashem, I love you, I love you. You walk into the office, wow, you stabah, but look what you gave me, Hashem, I love you so much. You walk in the office, you don't even have an office. Baruch Hashem, have no office. Whatever it is, you just love Hashem. Because you have to understand in your mind that you have, the, the, it makes sense to love Hashem. It makes sense to love Hashem. Why does it make sense to love Hashem? Albert, tell me, why does it make sense? Nuri, why does it make sense to love Hashem? Tell me, why does it make sense to love Hashem? The same way you love your father. He's off. off. That, 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 you know why? Think about it. Think about it. You're on earth. You did. People, people, Hazatan, Hazat, feel bad for people. They complain. It is that. If you're alive, the fact that you're alive and you're born, there's no reason why you complain. You know how many people have sarot out there, problems out there? You're born and you're living your life. Imagine the dead guy. So I wish I got up. <laughs> you're alive. You have to love Hashem, the fact that He gives you breath of air. He said, also, loving Hashem is easy mitzvah. It's not hard, it's easy mitzvah. Because all the type of person is thinking. There are two types of love. You ready? What's the two types of love? Love that you have for yourself. He says, one love, there's a type of love that you love yourself. So you love yourself, so therefore you say to yourself, one second, if I want to get more, so therefore who do I have to love? I have to love Hashem. Because since I love myself and I want to get more pleasure, and Hashem has all the pleasure, I have to love Hashem because I love myself in order to give me. See, this is one, it's a type of, it's a type of love, but it's a low-level love. Why? The giving of Hashem is based on love, yeah? Exactly. That's what I'm trying to say. It's a low, that's exactly why it's a low-level of love. Because people love Hashem, oh, because, oh, I know, if I don't come to shul, oh my goodness, what's going to happen? I'm not going to, Hashem's going to punish me. Eh. Oh, I love Hashem because, you understand, you're always loving Hashem because you want to get. That, that, that's already, it's a low level love. He brings down, he says, you love yourself, correct? Did God give you? Yes or no? God gave you. So you have a reason, besides, of the, you have a reason, oh, I love Hashem, He gave me so much. Hashem gave me so much, how could I not love Him? God, you gave me so much, I love you. You get it? You get it? Ah, He says, even if a so person lives, no, 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 one, no, 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 let's, let's sum up. One is the love that you have for Hashem, you're saying that I love Hashem so much because you give me so much. And that's a good you, well, that's good, that is good. You give me so much, I love you so much. Because you always have to understand, you always have to uh, mekir tov. What does mekir tov mean? Makarata Like the things are bothering the, the force. Yeah, something's there? Uh, what are you saying? You have to mekir tov to everything.